Rich Tarani here with TMC. I'm at the iMicro Data Corp booth. I'm speaking with Jamin Trowbridge. Uh, Jamin, uh, I'd love to talk with you a little bit about uh, what you're showing here. Uh, you caught my attention. I'm sure you'll catch the attention of the readers as, or the viewers as well. We're excited about the product. Do you want me to jump right into it? Yeah, I'm kind of standing in front of it, so let me get out of the way. So essentially, the whole idea behind this is we have the virtual cloud today. So everybody has a cloud, they have a Dropbox or whatnot. They put everything in every, you know, access folders, pull it up online from any location, right? All virtual, essentially. Now think of law offices, government, um, sharings, where they still have a lot of physical folders, a lot of physical files that they still need to access and hold on to. They can't just put it all in the cloud yet. That's what this comes into it. Essentially, it's a smart filing system. So think of a warehouse where you have maybe 100, 150 of these units. You, send, you use this software, you file whatever you want to file, whether it's you know, law, law reports, medical documents, whatever else. Each folder, each folder you actually input into the system, into the software, recognizes the, the folder individually in each drawer. So they don't have to be in order, it doesn't have to be an ABC, um, essentially an ABC lineup or anything. You can have medical documents down there, insurance documents up there, it doesn't matter, but you have 50 total units and it's all logged right up here in the software. Let's say I have a New York office and I have a San Francisco office. I call my San Francisco office from New York and I say, hey, I need you to find that folder in the basement that's the medical document for Dr. Lee. And then I go onto the software from anywhere, I can access the software, and I type up and I look for, let's say I'm looking for the PG&E folder right here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here, and let's say I'm in New York and I'm talking to the person that's in San Francisco. These files are located in San Francisco. I come over here, and I look for the PG&E file. Let me close this. Let's do this. Give me a quick second. So by closing the file cabinet, what, what just happened? Essentially, you just reset it. So let's say, right now what I'm going to do is I'm going to look for the California folder. And now, that, like I said, I don't, it does not need to be in the phys physically in the same place. So right now it's saying, okay, I found one folder, which is California. It lights up the drawer that it's in. So it doesn't matter. Like I said, there could be 50 of these units. It does not matter. You come over to the drawer. Now you look for the light of finding the exact same folder that I'm looking for right now, the California folder. I pull it out. You have the California folder. So this is a really cool blend of the virtual and physical world. The question that some people may ask is, why wouldn't companies just uh, use scanning as a replacement technology for what we're seeing here? What would your answer be to that? The reason is, is they still can, but a lot of companies still need to hold on to the physical documents. And the time that it takes to sort and rework or losing documents in a warehouse where you have maybe billions of folders, depending on the company that they have, essentially makes it easy to find it and not lose documents. And you also don't need to, like I said, you don't need to, you don't need to always worry about saying this is the A drawer, this is the B drawer. You can put them anywhere. I can move this folder, essentially. Let's see here. Let's say I want to move this folder out here. And I'll put it in this drawer. So like I said, no filing, no A, B, C, D anymore, right? Go back over here. It's going to rescan it. Think about, the, the thing is too, is that when you, have, when you have important documents that you actually have to hold on to, like medical documents or law documents or whatever else, the whole issue with behind it is that you can easily lose it. Because the original signature, the original document is the importance behind most documents that you still have to save for five years, 10 years, 15 years. So with this, you don't have to worry about losing the document anymore, right? So let's say I'm looking for this folder again. It's gonna scan for it. I gotta... I move the, I move the folder to a different drawer. Doesn't matter where it is, pull it out again. Very so cool. What it is, it's just going to save you time and headache, and it's going to keep it more straightforward and streamlined for companies that are larger, that have large facilities with lots of paper that's important. Hey, maybe you only need to access one document per year, but that one document could be worth millions of dollars and also save you a lot of time. You don't have to worry about finding it again. So basically, you're paying a little bit for the software, you're paying for the electricity, but you're saving on manpower. You're saving on manpower, you're saving on time, and you're also saving on headaches, essentially. Thanks for your time. This was great. Thank you.